CSS Grid Layout introduces the min-max function to CSS. This function gives us a method of specifying the minimum size of a grid track and a maximum size. We're not all that used to seeing functions like this right inside CSS, but once you know how to use min-max, you'll wish you had it everywhere. So let's have a look. I've got my grid here. I've got three column tracks, each of one fraction unit. And so this is a nice, flexible grid. If for this first track, I use min-max, and then I'm going to say 200 pixels as a minimum, and a maximum of 250 pixels. And we'll see what happens. So this track now, if I drag the window smaller, once it hits a minimum of 200 pixels, it won't go any smaller than that. And if I take it larger, once it gets 250 pixels, it won't get any larger than that. So that's the basic behavior of min-max. This can be quite useful in various places in grid layout. One of those places is when using grid auto rows. If I'd like my automatically created rows to be a minimum size but also expand to fit the content, I can use min max. So I can say let's make them a minimum of 60 pixels and a maximum of auto. So you can see now they've grown because they've gone to their minimum size of 60 pixels. But watch what happens when I add some more content to one of them. This track here has now grown and it's fitting this content. The content isn't being cropped off. So the tracks will be a minimum size. So they won't collapse smaller than 60 pixels, but they'll cope with growing and stretching to auto if more content is added. So that's just one use of min max that you might find helpful.